Yes, you're on the rectal area, rectum. Right, rectum yeah. Okay. If I go off on, let's say we're going to <coughs> seven, let's say five or seven, those would be good places to get to levator anus. Okay. okay. So I could go to five or seven and, and have them contract. We should feel something palpable there as they contract. If I go over to 10 or two o'clock, what would I find at 10 or two? Uh, 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 so, uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. Optrator, Optrator internus? Yeah. How could I check that? I could have them externally rotate. rotate and see if against a, a resistance can I can I Palpate. feel that yeah. palpable yeah. again, that contraction. Pop. Popping in there. Yeah. Um, there's something else that runs that separates pu uh, iliocoxygeus and obturator internus. Okay, obturator internus is on the side wall of the pelvis, right? There's something that goes in between them. You know what that is? It's the other. Yes, the yeah. arcus tenoneus levator ani. If I were to draw a line, and you can actually feel the arcus tenoneus feels like a thickening. If I were to draw a line, <laughs> if I go down here, I'm gonna actually end up on a, a bony, prominent bony little area here. What would the arcus tenoneus go into? Where would, what would it land on? The ischial You're getting close. Ischial spine, okay? Ischial spine is where you'll find one of the, the most superficial aspects of where the pudendal nerve is. Yeah. Some people think that's a trigger point and they're jamming on it when it's actually the pudendal nerve and the ischial spine, you don't want to do that. What the ischial spine connects, there's a ligament that is where that's located. Do you know what that is? Sacrospinous. Sacrospinous ligament goes to the sacrum, okay? You cannot feel the sacrospinous really too much externally. 